they're shattering the rules all around the way this government works. I mean, and, and I think Donald Trump to go, listen, let's get back to normalcy. Or see, like, how each other. big Arnold Palmer was? Are you kidding me, Sean? <laughs> <laughs> but Arnold Palmer was all man. And I say that in all due respect to women, and I love women. He took showers with the other pros. They came out of there. They said, oh, my God. Wait, listen, we're talking about how the- No, no, no. Look. You tell me if Joe Biden had Look stood the up way there and got- said, you know, I, I saw Arnold Palmer in a shower once, and boy, that guy's got it going on down there. What would you have said? You that he what? wasn't fit to leave? Does- now, I know what you're thinking, folks. Here's what we need in a leader. Someone who can stand in front of the American people and rave about a late golfer's joke. <sighs> That's unbelievable. (laughs) I had to say it. That's right. As one Fox News host praised Donald Trump for potentially returning America to normalcy, another, Jessica Tarlov, who is in touch with reality, was swift to remind the man. With an impressive tolerance for snake oil, it must be said. Uh, Are we talking about the same person here? The man who just got on stage and said this? This is a guy that was all man. They're shattering the rules all around the way this government works. I mean, and, and I think Donald Trump to go, listen, let's get back to normalcy. Let's get back normalcy, to actually respecting like each other. Normalcy, like how big Arnold Palmer was? Are you kidding me, Sean? Wait, wait listen, we're talking about how the- No, 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 look, you tell me if Joe Biden had stood the up there and got- said, you know, I, I saw Arnold Palmer in a shower once and boy, that guy's got it going on down there. What would you have said? You that he what? wasn't fit to leave? That doesn't affect the way the government works. The way the government functions. <laughs> that you have an insane not- person okay. as the head of the government? So, right. And when you Again, say we shatter the norms, so, maybe the guy who got indicted is the one that shattered, or shattered or the or norms. Maybe it's the lawfare that was used to indict him so on bogus just, charges. Just real quickly. Now, this conversation comes after the former president delivered his usual onslaught of diatribe recently to the point that Fox actually pivoted from his speech to Kamala's, offering the perfect disparity. Oh, you're talk, but you're talking about a great man. I said, Arnold. Latrobe, Pennsylvania is uh, an area that Donald Trump won in 2016. He is there holding one of his signature rallies. Uh, Kamala Harris, the vice president, has to say. During a speech in Latrobe, Pennsylvania, Trump spoke for more than 10 minutes about Arnold Palmer, who was born in Latrobe at a rally at the local airport named in Palmer's honor. And as is par for the course with Donald Trump, pun unapologetically intended, his comments appeared to go off script and under the covers. He took showers with the other pros. They came out of there, they said, oh my God, that's unbelievable. It's completely accurate. I mean, it does fit the definition. He wants to send the military in to attack his opponents. I mean, what more do you really need to hear? Fair to say there's questions about this on on both sides, Mm. really, right? No, well, Joey Behar is responding to things Donald Trump said, not the other way around. And you've seen Donald Trump himself and then J.D. Vance this morning on our own air with Bill Bill Hammer and Dana Mm -hmm. struggling to talk about the enemy within comments. He's been given the opportunity to walk it back to say, oh, maybe I shouldn't name check Adam Schiff and the Pelosi's. And he continues with it. He thinks that Democrats are the enemy within and he doesn't have a problem with sending the National Guard after Mm -hmm. them. So Joy Behar is responding to the comments that Donald Trump started. And I want to go back to what Sean was saying about the McDonald's thing, that image, it surely won the day yesterday. Mm. And I think that for people who are fans of Donald Trump, that that is something that will really resonate. But if you look at what was going on on social media on Saturday, for instance, the dominant thread that I was seeing was that Donald Trump couldn't help himself but to talk about how Arnold Palmer was well hung. On Friday, he was saying that Abraham Lincoln should have settled the Civil War. I guess that's the art of the deal, that he could have made a better deal. And then you have the enemy within comments. So if you look at the totality of that mm. for the weekend, I don't think that speaks that well. Well, the Wall Street Trump. Journal... Now, in response, it was pointed out on social media that Arnold Palmer's daughter said in 2018 that her father, a political conservative who died in 2016, was, quote, a 
appalled by Trump. And in keeping with the vulgarity of Trump's comments, he led the crowd in a call and response about the Biden-Harris administration's economic and foreign policy record, saying, quote, everything they touch turns to, and of course, his band of cult followers joined in. And this one, Kamala, is further left than them. So you have to tell Kamala Harris that you've had enough, that you just can't take it anymore. We can't stand you. You're a shit vice president. The worst. Yeah. And akin to Talo's response, can you imagine if Kamala Harris said this? But because it's Trump, we just act like it's normal. Some are even so deranged to allude that it is Trump who will bring the country back to normalcy. This is not normal. This man is far from normal. And not just because he's spending minutes in between discussing windmills causing cancer and the late great Hannibal Lecter gawking over another man's package, but everything he stands for is far from normal. What the hell? They don't do that with anybody that I've ever heard. With me, they do the opposite. I give them a gorgeous, full-flowing, magnificent, beautiful answer. I call it the weave, right? All Always get right back to the right place, but you cover a lot of territory this way. But you give a beautiful answer, and then what they do is they take pieces of it out, and all of you say, what the hell happened to my beautiful answer? They do the opposite. And that's bad too, but that's not like this. They took her into- And of course, none of the spineless Republicans can muster up enough courage with a mouthful of boot to say anything. House Speaker Mike Johnson was asked repeatedly about Trump's Arnold Palmer comments on CNN State of the Union on Sunday, but he pivoted to Harris's record saying, quote, put the rhetoric aside. One of the first things you did when you joined Congress was to create the Honor and Civility Caucus. Does wanting to use the military against political opponents would that pass muster with the civility? Talk? No, that's not. <laughs> Jake, you know, that's not what he's talking about there. What he's talking about is marauding gangs of dangerous, nope. violent people who are destroying public property. Nope. He talked about and, Adam and Schiff threatening and threatening other American citizens. He's not talking. I mean, uh, Governor Youngkin tried this with me, too. That's not, he was very clear. Let, let me let me play because he was asked about this later on because Fox always likes to give Donald Trump an opportunity to clean it up. Uh, and he always says, no, no, I'm, I said what I meant. Here's what he said when asked about it uh, the next day. This is the enemy from within, and they're very dangerous. They're Marxists and communists and fascists, and they're sick. I use a guy like Adam Schiff because they made up the Russia, Russia, Russia hoax. It took two years to solve the problem. Absolutely nothing was done wrong, et cetera, et cetera. They're dangerous for our country. We have China. We have Russia. We have all these countries. If you have a smart president, they can all be handled. The more difficult are, you know, the Pelosi's, uh, these people, they're so sick and they're so evil. He's, that's what he's talking about, using the U.S. military against not marauding gangs of uh, Venezuelan. Wait, wait a minute. I, wait, Adam hold Schiff, on. Nancy Pelosi, Nancy Pelosi's husband. Paul. So let me just say, if a Democratic presidential candidate said that you and your wife were evil <clears throat> and that the military should be used against you, I would say... That's disgusting. You're crossing all over the country. You're working hard to get Republicans over the line in this election. You're talking about substantive issues. Is this really the closing message you want voters to hear from Donald Trump? Stories about Arnold Palmer's penis? Which is hilarious because it's their new thing. Put rhetoric aside, put character aside, put your morals to the side and just hold your nose. Which prompts me to bring back this clip from Mehdi Hassan last week in which he rightfully pointed out the reason that Republicans want to shy away from character is because deep down in the corners they want to hide from, they know his character is reprehensible. When you look at, you know, when the president runs, he makes these commitments and you should hold him accountable to following through on these commitments. And President Trump, you know, he made his seven commitments when he ran for president. And I think if you look at the check mark, he's, he's achieved, he hit all those by the end of his first four year term. Funnily enough, when you poll Republicans today, they say character doesn't matter. And there's a reason for that, because yeah. they've checked out their candidate. And they know they can't say with a straight face that character matters when their candidate is Donald J. Trump. This is a former casino owner who cheated on his first wife with his second wife, cheated on his third wife with a porn star, been found liable of sexual abuse by a jury of his peers. About character when it comes to political figures, can you trust them to do what they say they're going to do? Lies in every breath, more than 30,000 lies, according to a count by The Washington Post, a conservative count, uh, when he was president, has spent years saying outrageously racist and misogynistic things about women and people of color, hosted a Holocaust tonight at his home for Thanksgiving. So no, I don't think he has the character. I think character matters. He certainly does not have the character. 
Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.